Hi, my name is Felix Fry. And I'm Marco Rajnika. We're here to find great trading opportunities that target 150 to 400% returns. And you, well, you're going to help us do it every single day. So welcome. This is the Winning Picks Podcast. This podcast is for educational purposes only. Options Geek LLC is not a broker dealer. Options Geek LLC, Felix Fry, and Marco Rajnika are not registered investment advisors. Keep in mind, options involve substantial risk and are not suitable for everyone. Please consult your own investment advisor before doing any trading. Make sure you read the full disclaimer at the end of this episode. My man. Mr. Felix, welcome back. How are you? Good, you? Good, good. I'm good, man. I'm good. How about yourself? Good. Look at good. that blue, blue, and you match your blue background there. I like it. Yeah, nice, nice. <laughs> Blending it's in. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Going to bed for the summer. You're good. You're, you're, yeah. you're all set. You're all set. I, uh, this week is, uh, you know, 4th of July weekend coming up, end of the end of the quarter, June 30th. Mm-hmm. Um, you're seeing a lot of funny things happen. I, I, I'm looking around and, you know, some of the, it's like, you're either a fang name, big big cap name, and that's moving up, or you're a smaller momentum name that's moving up, and everything else in the middle is seems like it's just shuffling around. They're they're killing, they, they have been killing these uh, these industrials. They're they're hurting. You know, CCL comes out with numbers today, and and uh, and a, and a, a share sale hurting them. Uh, you know, it's just it's it's hard to make sense of what's mm-hmm. really happening, and all of that's happening, and the market's up and down a nickel. So, right. you know, it's, it's, it's difficult, but, um, the ISM manufacturing numbers are in on the first on, on Thursday, and then we got a big employment number on Friday. So the, the market generally likes to focus on this employment number. Um, I, I think it's important, but I, I think it's important if we look at the details and I don't think the details are ever going to change at least in the, not, not for the next year. So I can't see that the, that the, the fed is, I don't think they will point to that because I think it's too, um, it might be, it, it's a hard subject to say, like we need uh-huh. good paying jobs. So I don't know, how do you say that without offending millions of people? Um, so, you know, I think that it's the market's going to float until we get these 5% moves lower, but we just had a sharp two and a half uh, standard deviation move quickly in, in two and a half days. You know, I, I think the market rejected that. And I think the next move, they want it to go up. That said, that said, um, I wanted to look at some, some uh, hedges and I wanted us to just remind us ourselves that the market could go down for whatever reason, mm-hmm. and you know you might want to take take a look. So let's look at um, uh, let's see here. Uh, we'll look at this here. I wanted to look at just let's just look at the spy and how it's lining up. Mm-hmm. Um, I wanted us to go say four hundred, four hundred, four twenty. You know, it they're they're pricing these things at an incredibly at incredibly cheap prices. Um, they they it's incredible what t- how nine volatility you're you're getting this stuff. It's under ten now. It's basically saying this thing's not going down. It's not going to move. That's basically what it's saying. Mm-hmm. That said, like what happened the last time when it's saying that there's chances for these hiccups or people getting offsides and and what I mean by offsides, everybody's long. And then you get this again, two, three percent move down to check everyone, everybody sells, and then the market tries to make its move back up. You know, they, they have July here. See how July this wasn't like this before, but we had that sharp move. And then you could see how they they bit up all these Julys. They they these look like a lot of these were bought. So we're looking at the four tens, the four fifteens, and four twenties. Uh-huh. Um so they so these again, stop think think of this as stop signs, right? So yep. we make sure we got this correct here. These would be, these are calls. Okay, good. Yep, puts, yeah. So they, they got these uh, lined up pretty good over here. 100,000, 100,000, and 100,000. Um, again, stop signs. Again, this is going to slow things down. And I suspect that they were bought, right? On that sharp move, they, people were buying these like hotcakes. So mm-hmm. July for the next two, three weeks, you know, to, to some extent has it all hedged up over here. A hundred Every 100,000. So what you do is a hundred thousand times a hundred times four twenty. So that would be how much? Four four point two billion dollars. 
there, right? 4.2 billion. So 100,000 times 420 is 42 times 42 million times 100, 4.2 billion dollars. So 4.2 billion here, 4.2 billion there, and let's call it 4.2 billion around here. 4 billion, 4 billion, 4 billion. That's a decent amount. It's not, not, I mean, when the market wants to go down, it'll go down, but still, that is that is considered a decent amount. If it starts heading lower, this 100 turns into 150, 200, and then it's going to really put the stops and the brakes and stuff here. So I, I'm concerned that, you know, buying puts here is not going to do you any, any good. However, if we go to August, if we go to August, they're giving it away for, for I think, too cheap. For example, mm -hmm. let's look now. So we see that there's not much, right? And then when you get to August 37, it, it goes light again, okay? So yeah. the summer's here. It's going to be slow. The, the market's think it's going to be slow. These people have caught here hedged, worried about the, the previous last two weeks. And then there's nothing going on in August. And then you get Jackson Hole somewhere right around here um, in, in August, September that I guess people start – They'll start floating the idea that again, maybe the Fed has to say something. Maybe there's, you know, there'll be talk of when they're going to raise rates and whatnot. So you can get a little jitters here. But let's go to the if you're looking for a hedge here, because I can, I can sense the world is long a little bit here. Right, right. I, I, I can sense it. Um, but if you're looking at, I'm going to go to August second, August. I think August six gets us the. Third, fourth, fifth. I think August sixth gets us the the next um, the next employment number after July. Mm -hmm. um, so that would be. I'm going to look at this. I'm going to look at the try to head and, and remember. Four twenty six to four twenty is only one and a half percent. It's nothing, right? It's not like it's five right. percent moved down. So you could buy the four twenties at let's call it five bucks. And so you're really protecting, you know, down 2%, but 420, and then you have the, let's call it the 405s, so for a 265. So 420 at five and 265, that's about 235. So for $2.35, half a percent, you can protect yourself for most of, uh, you know, the next, let's call it the next, what is that, five weeks? The next five weeks, over two, over two, uh, wage mm -hmm. numbers over earnings, right? You get the earnings season. Um, I think this is a do. I think this is just something, it's a good little nugget just to have maybe even half a position so you don't have to actually, you know, um, stop yourself out, you know, if you're worried about stopping. But this at $2 and change, you, they're giving you about six to one here. So 420, so five again, and the 405s are 265. So that's 235, 235 to make max, Profit 1265. So 1265 divided by 235 is about, let's call it five to one. Okay, five to one. So nice. five, actually, it's a little bit more, five and a half to one. So, so five to six times your money, let's call it on that trade. Now, you get a sharp move towards 415, at least it'll get to a double, it'll, it'll be maybe 100 to 175% winner. The five, 405s and depending on when it goes down, this will spike up a little bit um, relative to the 420. So, you know, mm -hmm. you're not going to be making what you think, but you're also not going to be paying the $5 up front. So I, I think that that's a do. Anyone, I, I like the six because you, I, you get the other employment numbers. So I, I think it's, you, you always want that event that's going to hold something there. And um, I just think that that, I think put spreads right now make better sense than, than just buying a put for, six weeks because nothing's uh -huh. happening. You're going to have to live through July um, 4th weekend. That's tough. So um, so that's what I would say. I would say pick something. If you're going to pick something, you can even do, I mean, closer you get, the better the pricing is going to, going to look. But again, you got to, you got the 4th of July big weekend coming up. Everything's going to, it should quiet down by Thursday uh -huh. um, uh, afternoon. Friday is an, almost a non-event. You're off on Monday, and then you come in Tuesday. It, it's almost a whole week where there's nothing happening. Okay, right. so so that that's what I would I would think about. I would think about the uh, August early August put spreads. I think they're pretty cheap. All cool. right. Yeah, awesome. I like it. Good. I like it. By the way, did you see that Roku? That that thing just exploded. did I see Roku? The oh, thing doesn't my. stop. The oh, thing doesn't my. stop. We we were looking at those calls at like six. The what was it? The three eighties at like six dollars, and then the the four hundreds at four dollars when they first started that yeah, morning. Yeah. 
And then the, the 400, where's the stock right now? The stock is, this one is incredible. 442, oh, wow. it just doesn't stop. I look at it every day, every morning. I'm thinking, Jesus, the 400s were, they were picking them up at three, three and change. I yep. think that on day one, three and change. And now they're $40. Incredible. To Jeez. me, that, that, that that's just, wow. Wow. What a nice. move. How about your video? It was good. I liked ah, it. I yeah, did me, like it. Thank you. And the and the AMD, we had some good comments there too. People should should uh, add to that comment section because um, I can't remember his name. Someone someone wrote something. Surely, read like he knew what he's talking uh -huh. about, which is good. I had no had me so confused with the you know. Anytime I read something about AMD, I just I read it. I, I think I'd be like most people that are not going to fully understand the technology, but I read it. I believe that they, uh, the, the CEO is a good CEO. They have good yes. management. They've done a tremendous job. Um, the, the level, I mean, it's clear as day, 70 something, $74. That is uh, that that's a level that you got to be worried about. Um, th th they came in and they said they were going to buy 4 billion shares right when it was breaking. I don't think that was coincidence. I think they just wanted to support mm -hmm. the stock and say, we're here, you know, um, and uh, but people are buying these calls here today, right? They're buying the you see these the July's. Yes. Yep. So they're buying the July nineties, and th there's some open interest here. But you know, July nineties. Let's see here, paying a buck and a half for the July nineties coming out of the gate. They were buying these. Mm -hmm. um, I think, frankly, I just think if you're going to pay for the July nineties, you know. Just go get the August. It's a little bit more for the, which should be, let's see, probably double, mm, a little bit more than double. I was trying to say get the earnings for, but it's a lot more. It's a lot more. So someone right. here is playing a quick move over the next couple of weeks. The stock, stock I'm looking at the stock in the corner of my eye. It looks tremendous. Um, th this is, let's take a look at this. You know, we've had this for a while now, right in this to this. And you see this right here. Right. Yep. That that you know you can even go down this way too, right? But th this here is seems like it's kind of broken, and we talked about in the video. You know the the bulls love this. You know that they they've broken the fifty, the two hundred, and and now they're, they're you know before when it, you see this right here how it pushed it back, uh -huh. the bears are th thinking okay fine that that's good that you know we're this trend line, but after that you know you're talking about eighty nine and then. You know, this is potentially up here somewhere. You know, if it, if the market's good and this wants to trade up, you got Micron. You know, Micron this week is going to say a lot about the semis. And if they're if if the world if the if the world starts saying the investment world starts saying, you know what, we get it. Um, we've taken the brunt of it. These stocks haven't done anything to down over the last three months. We want to get back in because at some point they're going to open it, and we're hearing that whatever they're hearing that this is going to be a little bit sooner than, than uh, it's going to be sooner than later. People saying mm -hmm. 2022, they're just trying to push everything out so that they can beat the earnings. Cause the minute they know the, it's one of those things where, because no one knows people get scared and they sell some of their position, but the minute we know, no, this is going to be up and running by this date and that date, then forget if these stocks actually say, okay, we know now we know that it's going to be up and running and we'll take it up halfway from where we think it should be. And where these things, remember, when it was up here, what do they think it was going to be? 120, 130. Then yep. Intel CEO and the whole thing with Intel versus AMD over here. Then the the, su the supply hurt, and now it's trying to take all that back. And it, it's done it pretty quickly. This sharp move here, think about this. This was earnings. Sharp move straight down scares everyone out. Not everyone, but you know, a good amount of people out here with that move from from basically trading 90 pre market, 90 down to 74 right down here, the buyback, and now everybody's coming back into the name. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, this looks, this is a, uh, right now it looks very strong. Um, you know, if it could come back, I think that the bulls are going to be leaning against 83, 84 right here. So they'll be buying it here. You don't want to see it get back under here. You don't want to see it go back to 80. That would be, that would be a, this is a game middle innings loss for the, for the, for the, for the bulls. If it trades back to 82, 80, it's not what you want to see. You want to see it. 84, 85, 80, somewhere around here, and then another mm -hmm. push up. That's really positive. So they're buying the July 90s today. Um, you know, I I think we were looking at the the August. Uh, that said, you know, I, I I'm not like 
I don't think this explodes. I just think it could trade up. So I, I'm not, I'm not a believer that it's going to go in one shot straight through Andre. Not, mm -hmm. I don't believe that. I think it can go into the nineties if it goes up, but I think th there'll be a couple of months where it just pulls back. Um, maybe it's just during the summer or whatever, but I, I would have a hard time believing that this just goes straight through from 74 straight up. Right. 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 Okay? And to get so your full idea, people should take a look at the video and then check it out and uh, see yeah. what you're thinking there. Yeah. And keep adding to the, the listen, I learned from, I learned from good comments. I learned from great, from good comments. When you mm -hmm. put something in there, put an article in there. I, I read everything, you know, I'm, I'm always open to um, changing the idea, thinking about it a different way, but you know, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm asking the tech guys to tell us what, you know, what's good. Right. Or not good. Right. Okay. Exactly. Um, what else are we looking at here? We're looking at EV names. Um, EV. Here. Yep. It's looking at, you know, so I read the article over the weekend. Tesla was recalling, what is it? 284, 5,000, 84,000 right. yep. um, cars. And I thought, I thought they were physically going to have to take in all those cars. I said, that's it. This game is over. Yeah. And then and it was just the software going out. It just got a, it's like a, probably a press of a button for them. Um, mm -hmm. The stock is trading up, which should tell you something right there, right? It should tell you that the, the market doesn't care about that. Um, and uh, it looks good. I mean, look, Tesla, Tesla, I'm not afraid to say, you know what? I, I think it's, looking very good right here uh the stock is trying to get through you see that right there uh -huh. yep. it's holding that right so again you want to see that hold and this is you know maybe the bulls got to retreat here and take a, a little chill pill for a while and and say give up a little bit here and wait for it to come back come back down but this this is a bullish development right here and i could see this going you see this right here 775 mm -hmm. see this right here yep. caught people up here and this was resistance here so it wasn't that much this was only a few it wasn't a lot of volume wasn't much so it's not like there's a ton of people caught up here see that the volume up here is not it's right. it's it's not like this this is where this was big <laughs> volume so we're, we're here not a lot of volume um it, it's come off some of the volume probably sold off and here there was rejected from here you know this is Let's, I want to show you something so, to give you some perspective because we're looking at it very okay. closely. But, you know, if we give it, let's just give Tesla a weekly look. And that might be a little bit too long, but let's go. Uh, let's go three years daily just to give it a look here. You know, this isn't, this doesn't, this looks like it can make another move right here it's trying right. to go the other way sorry let's this is it's it's doing what it's supposed to do if it's going to go up right it basically has spent the last six months digesting a 75 dollar to 900 uh dollar move okay yeah. 75 to 900 it's supposed to go sideways for six months Maybe even another few months, but at some point, if it doesn't go down, which is it's you know, call, this is Tesla winning, and then this is Tesla losing here, right? Tesla's taking the brunt of uh, you know the punching bag, and 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 all of a sudden, it's starting to gain some strength, and the person punching Tesla is the shorts, so, you know, kind of not doing the effect that they were doing over here, bringing it down, bringing it down, and so, uh, you know, I I suspect that you know you can see this. this a lot better chance to hit 900 here. So they're giving you a chance to get out um, if you're a short. And, and I would suspect that the short should start covering a little bit here. You can't be that short here with the stock showing this type of strength again. Capiche? Yep, yep, yep. Awesome, man. Awesome. All right. So that, that's Tesla. Let's, but let's look at our let's yes. look at our trade, the Tesla, the dollar right. trade, because just this is gonna be interesting. This is again another fun one to watch because you have the July, um, we have puts as well, but the puts were $1.75, mm -hmm. they're not going anywhere. So th the most you can lose is $1.75 there. Right. And they're probably in no man's land right now. So not even <laughs> worth look at that, looking at them. Um, but the the 650, the 650 in July, 650, 700 are, let's call it 53, and the 700 is 24 and a quarter. So 24 and a quarter times two is what? 48 and a half? Yep. 14 and a half off of uh, 53 is four and a half. So a dollar to four and a, a dollar so far. Now we're at four and a half. 
Um, again, if you can get by this week with the stock here, you're going to see this go to $10. Mm -hmm. Watch. You, that's, that's what I, it'll go, it'll go to 10 and it'll start. It, it, it's just, it does start trading just like the last time with the, with the puts. It, as we get closer over the next, I mean, there's only, what's, what's this week? 10, it's about 13 days left, maybe 13 days left, 13 about, trading yeah. days, mm -hmm. 13 trading days. And you have 24 and a quarter times two which is 48 and a half, 48 and a half of, of all this is premium that will go to zero with the stock here. And the six and a halves, you have only, this is 703. So you have about 20 bucks here. So 20 bucks and the 46 bucks, so you have $26 that's going to go to zero. And that's just going to come out of the, the stock, come out of the options over the next, I think by next Wednesday, you will see with the stock anywhere around here, you will see this thing go from four and a half to about 10 bucks. Uh -huh, okay. Nice. So we'll, we'll see how that plays out. But it, even, even so, if it goes down to 660, six, even 650, you're going to still see this expand dramatically because the 700s will get flattened. So the 700s will get flattened and then you still have a bid in the 650s. So, right. so you're in the driver's seat here. If you have this trade and you're long stock and you're holding, then th this is going to be a great trade. Right. Okay. Nice. Nice. Um, but it. but they're 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 really focusing on the competitor here, Neo. Oh well, yeah. Right. So Neo announced something big today. They announced the uh, Neo Power, Power, Power Day. Day. Right? Yeah. Neo yeah. Power Day, and and you had mentioned this in January. Yeah. They had the Neo Day, and it was yeah, they, literally over the next six days. I remember. Let's see this. In the next six days, the stock spiked huge. Right. That's what made it hit its all time highs. And uh, yeah, it was huge. I mean, we were on you know the other side of the mountain, but. You know, this is, so we're talking about this day right here. Let's go to this day. So the idea, you were talking about it right here. Yeah, it was February it, 7th, I think. The day. Right, February 7th? Yeah, the Neo Day or something like that. Yeah, Yeah, I think I think it was I think it was in January, no? Sorry, January 7th. January, January, yeah, January, 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 right? right? Yes, so yes, they yes. traded up here. And I think it was right after the New Year, somewhere around the January 50s. 9th. Yeah, I checked it. Yep. Yeah, and literally it shot up over the mm -hmm. next couple of days for Neo Day. So now they just announced today the Neo Power Day on the 9th. Stock's ripping. Stock's up here 10%. Yeah. And uh, again, we looked at this one. This one we had, remember this, the, the MACD diversion. Mm hmm a break here we were looking down here it doesn't break and comes back this way you got to give up here and cut recovers the 200 to 50. you see this 200 the red line straight yeah. up see the mm -hmm. blue line start like the blue lines even trying to go like this which is going to cause this to potentially spike so this is an interesting spot here and you have people coming up lining up for calls you know they, they're buying july 2nd mm -hmm. i'm not sure why they were buying so much of the july 2nd i would just buy the if, if July 9th is the day, then right. I think the July 50 calls at $1.83 are probably the ones to like start nibbling at. It's already up 10% today. So maybe if it drops a little bit, but you know, these seem, considering what happened the last time, these seem pretty interesting. I don't know if they'll make an announcement. I don't know exactly. I don't know what they could say in this and what they're planning to say or what they, what we think they could say, but that one looks interesting. And then if you want both of them to get earnings, you can do the, uh, let's see, the 50s. Eh, that gets a little bit more expensive. Yeah, see that yeah. one? That was asking for five yeah. bucks for the earnings. But, but for this Neo Day, I suspect that, you know, I, I got to read more. I just saw the announcement. But I suspect that this, is, this isn't this is bad. Probably can buy the 50s. I mean, I would even sell. Everybody's buying the July 2nds. I would even sell these to them. You know, hmm. the, the 50s. Buy the 50s and sell them the 52s at 60 cents. Like you, if you want to reach for it here, fine. Sixty cents. I'll say that at sixty cents, and I buy the July nines with the with the event, with the mm -hmm. event at a dollar eighty five. So I pay a dollar twenty. You win, you nice. win. You're gonna take me out at fifty two. That's fine. Right, right. Okay. Right. Cool. So that's interesting. The neo one is good. That you know them paying. Let, let's just think about a target here for them on July 9th, You know, buying the fifties. We're talking about maybe fifty six ish, right? 50, 55? somewhere mm -hmm. about fifty five, fifty six. To buy those, I mean, 55, 56 happens to be right. See this spot right here? All up blocking this? Mm -hmm. Yep. 55. So can I get there? I, I don't see why not. I, this this looks interesting to me. I think 
I think just everybody's excited. Um, the people that are buying these options, you know, I'm sure they they're just playing for the quicker buck, the cheaper, the cheap, the quote unquote cheaper option, the the smaller value play, and yep. to see if they can get the max leverage on on a bigger move. So I think you know maybe you could take advantage of that, and and I think the the next week is probably. I'd rather see the, the the event, right? Right into the event, just like here. They announced something positive and who knows where this thing goes. All right? Yep, yep. CC, CCIV is the next one. I said, did you see this one? So yep. another date to keep on the calendar here is July 22nd. That's when they vote on the, the merger. I mean, I think it's a non-event. I think I think that they're going to, it's going to merge. Lucid, you know, everybody's going to vote for it. Lucid's going to go. Right. It's going to be, it's going to change from CCIV to L C I D, I believe. L C I D Lucid. Um it this is interesting because you know there's we know from from what had happened before that there was essentially a mistake. The market was under was basically overestimating how much CCIV was gonna get. Right. Um ultimately CCIV just got about 16% of Lucid. Um stock this drop. There was, I believe there was uh there's a secondary too. I think somebody was selling some shares here. Um, and maybe, hmm, I don't want to misspeak, but I, I think somebody was selling shares. That was the announcement here on the back of also the news that they were going to take 16%. Um, you know, the, you did a video on this one too. You know, the, the valuation gets a little nuts if you yeah. if you bring CCIV into the 30s. It's it's it's, it's pretty high valuation for, for Lucid. So um, 16% anyway. And you know, I but but just thinking through this and and watching it trade, I mean, I'm looking at a move from 18 to 28. That's 10. 10 from 22, it's 32. I mean, I could see 32 happening mm -hmm. easily. Like I think yeah. it could be a, a sharp move here. All of these names are starting to really turn and starting to have this. They had a sharp move and it's been rejected to the upside. Meaning, look at this. Let's let's tighten this up a little bit just to see it. I mean, you have to respect when a stock that, you know, valuation would say it's not supposed to be here, yeah, right? It's not supposed to be 28, so they take it down, and then it shoots back up, and it's trading almost where it was. Like, you have to respect that 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 the market, that this is uh, this is a strong move, especially uh -huh. when people say it's not supposed to be 27, 28, right? So when everybody, when, when the smart guys, the fundamental guys, the, the smartest guys in the world are saying, there's no way this thing is valued at 28 bucks. It just can't be. The, and and it and it is and it comes back right. and it is you, you have to get you have to you know say hey wait a second this is something's not right here and it's not like it's tra trading chump change here we're talking about on average 20 to 30 million shares a day uh, you know I, i'm concerned about this one to the upside wow. okay so that's okay. ccfv cool all of these names starting to <laughs> get a little crazy how about workhorse oh. gotta look at workhorse because we were talking about workhorse a couple of weeks ago and saying that maybe next week we're off by a week here. It started moving up. Uh, you know, we were here when we were saying, um, I think it was the 16th. So we had this move down and we were looking for the uh, expiration. So we had the expiration mm -hmm. somewhere around here. And we thought, you know, the following week, which was this week, okay, it did go up a little bit, did go up from this Monday here and then throughout the week. But it really made a move this morning, and you see where it stopped. It stopped right at this level. We can right. almost uh, let's just call it right to around here. I think it should be right around here, though, 18 and a half. So we have something here, really here, 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 here. Okay, so you know, for whatever reason, 18 and a half seems to be the level. Um, and 18 was rejected here a little bit today. So that's a little weak, but you know, still stocks up. What what is that? A buck and it was a buck. It was up almost six and a half. It was eighteen. It was up almost two dollars today. So people are buying calls here. Let's mm -hmm. let's just look at workhorse. I mean, these things have been really incredibly priced. Some of these things. It's this is they they've taken it down um, a lot. This at the money implied volatility has come down a lot. Uh, it's one thirty seven. It was two hundred plus last right. week uh but they flattened it you see how this is 130s all the way down it's flattened mm -hmm. across the board here um they flattened it this was 200 plus in these names but they're buying look they're buying the 17 sometimes 18s they're loading up here and they're also probably 
the people that are selling these are probably buying some of these things like the the 20s here buying the 20s here and selling some of these things to the people that are that are coming in to buy but the july wow. 16s um are bid as well these 20s for a dollar 10. you know something like this again I, i'd have to you know let everybody play their game and i would say here's a dollar 10 here dollar 10 and mm -hmm. let's call it 40 cents so 70 cents 70 cents i'll play the game and i don't have to watch i don't have to worry about it going down a dollar two dollars when when is this going to happen when is the squeeze going to happen what is the gamma's you don't have to worry you just it, you know there's a lot of premiums that you're paying in the in the july's and the in the july 2nd and the 9th just take three weeks take a spread 70 cents it goes to 40 50 okay you're gonna make 930 on 70 cents how much is that that's <laughs> gonna be 14 what a bummer uh, 13 13 13.5 percent 13.5 times your money okay so i mean if you're not happy with that then i don't know what to tell you but to <laughs> me that just seems like a more sane way to just play this instead of you know you know and cheaping it up because you're you're reducing it by about 30 30 percent here on a 10 point mm -hmm. spread from 20 to 30 that that's huge that's a huge yeah. you know gap 20 to 30 is 50 percent on the stock not saying it can't go to 50 or 60 but i'm just saying you know at, at 20 to 30 you know you do this now the the professionals might even do the one by two the 20 30 one by two for uh 25 cents this one i if if you're not a professional you don't want to do this but the 20 mm -hmm. 30 one by two at 20 25 cents that's not terrible you just got to have a quick you know quick finger to to exit right. if it starts if you feel like the squeeze is happening you will have a chance to get out not get killed mm -hmm. and, and maybe even get out for flat if it just starts mm -hmm. moving super fast and and quick on you okay nice okay the workhorse so that that's something where i mean look at the numbers that you got to think 20 right 25 30 up here 30 these are this is a huge huge number that people are looking at they're looking for a move literally back up here yeah. to this gap that's what they're looking for and higher right they're looking for it to blast off will it i don't know it does look like this is trying to turn here and this looks like an interesting place but you know it's 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 got to get through 18 and a half first capture 19 and three quarters 20 and then you can see this is nothing this is air so i think they're trying to fight this to get to this call it air right here okay uh -huh. fair enough cool. yeah all right yeah. good that's workhorse so those are the ev names that's what i saw on the ev that's that's that was interesting to me today in, in uh, all right what else what about this name wish we talked about a few times people seem to wish. like it and, uh, yeah this is look at the chart one. it's you the know chart like... looks it's, it looks mm -hmm. interesting you know i this isn't like fundamental plays these are strictly right. charts volume and th this is no give back th let's just go through it slowly and listen to what the stock is saying right this okay it gets killed for whatever reason they don't like growth it gets killed starts trading here at eight it spikes from eight to 15 and everybody says it's not valued it's not value 15 it's got to come back down this is a joke you know i, I looked at the i looked at the website wish.com and it didn't seem like anything supernatural to me so i just thought okay i don't know what the hell this name is but we'll watch the stock goes from 15 back down to call it nine and a half mm -hmm. and the shorts are obviously you know very happy here thinking of course and then it just literally takes the next 10 days and marches it's not like it spikes up like it did here i mean you had one day but this is like a march up it's like you know there's clearly sellers in the name here you know and they're trying to short it and people who've been shorted all the way down and it's marching up and it's marching up to this level right here where you have something going on at 15 15 15 a break here you have resistance here resistance again here again today resistance break 15 where does it go probably 20 and if it can if it gets to 20 there's no reason why it couldn't just go straight up that's what that's what these gamma squeezes yeah. do it's it's it just pushes it to a level where it just flips and if you look at the if you look at the wish if you look at the wish options okay the the volatility is coming down today just because it's not moving 20 percent. when you talk about remember six 169 vol is is just divide that by 16. Mm -hmm. okay and that's saying the market's expecting it to move 10% per 
per day, every day until expiration. Okay, so when you're only moving 4.7%, that's not good. And so people start getting tired or the, the vols, the, the market makers may start dampening some of that pricing. Okay, pushing people out, people getting scared, going, you know what, options aren't moving, I'm going to sell it. Or you could even be losing money, right? The stock is up 60 cents, 66 cents today, and you <clears throat> you own the 18s, you're probably losing money. Right. So people are bailing out. But they're still coming after these things. That They're trading the 15s here, 15 and a half, the July 16s. These here, the July 16s, let's look at these. They were trading, the, look, look at these, this is... To me, this is incredible. Thirty-five dollars. <laughs> wow. The thirty-five dollar calls are still forty cents. Thirty-five dollars. You're talking about twenty dollars higher. Damn. It would be an all-time high, still forty cents. So, same thing here. Uh, I would say a dollar fifteen, dollar seventeen. So a dollar seventeen and forty cents is how much? Seventy-seven cents. Seventy-seven cents on our watch. You know what I mean? It's like just to reduce this a little bit and leave this. Or just pay a dollar eighteen and just say, you know what? If they're paying forty cents or somebody's willing to pay that here, it mm -hmm. just seems like a lot. As a professional, the one fifteen sell forty twice, that would get me twenty eight cents. Some some people might even do sell this three times and make it for free, um, where you sell this forty cents three times. You know, there, there'll be a decent amount of time unless it goes from fifteen. You wake up and it's thirty. That trade's not gonna that trade's not gonna do well. Mm -hmm. But and it could, and I'm not saying it can't, but it's likely to stop at 21st, even if for an hour to help you decide, all right, you know what, this is off to the races. Maybe I can let it go. But 10, 12 days, there's two weeks plus another three days today. Yeah. I mean, there's call it 13, 14 days left here. It just seems to me like it's, you know, this is, uh, this is incredible. Right. This is incredible. What volatility is this 30 just as a number Two forty six. Yeah. Yikes. Last, last week it was trading. This was trading the 45s. The 45 calls were trading 70 cents. Think of that. Think about Incredible. that. Incredible. The yeah. 45 calls were trading 70 cents this week. I mean, to me, that's just, I, I don't even know. Like, you want to sell it. And then in, in the back of your head, if you're trained and you do this for a long time, you're thinking it's not supposed to be 70 cents. Yet people are buying this 70 cents. The only thing we want to know is who's buying that. Like, why is somebody buying that? And it may be, it may be because there's no borrow. And the market makers are buying that so that they can get the borrow, right? They can short, sh basically short sell the stock without the shares. So they buy these 30, 40 cent options because they need the stock to short sell. Mm -hmm. Maybe if that's the case, then you want to be selling even against those guys. Right, right, right. Right. So it's always trying to figure out who's on the other side, why they buying it, what's actually happening. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. Yep. Cool. Like so it. that's Wish. Wish. Let's, uh, let's take a break from some UOA and take a look at something else that I have for you. Sure. And uh, last week we introduced our uh, shop.obsky.com, our merchandise, and you can ah, take yes, a look yes, here yes. on the website, uh, shop.obsky.com. Uh, but also we wanted to take it a step further and uh, organize something for people to be able to share the podcast, share the newsletter that we send out, and be able to get free merch, right? So if some of you are not subscribed to the uh, list most likely you are if you're getting the emails. Um, you can go here to the Obvious Geek uh, homepage, and here we have a sign up page where you can actually sign up and get referral points, which you can use to actually buy merchandise. So, every person you refer to the Options Geek website and the Options Geek newsletter, you're going to be able to get one point, and then you can convert those points into actually merchandise, right? So, in tonight's so email, let me ask you one question, Marco. If someone is already on the list, do they have to yes. sign up again? No, 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 no. So what what everybody watching now on the podcast should be looking out for is tonight's email, and they should see this in the email. So we're going to attach it, and you're going to be able to see your link that you can use to share to other people. If they sign up through this link, you get referral points, right? Awesome. And in this, this section, you're going to be able to see, and then when you click on it, you're going to be able to see, you know, which rewards we offer and uh, how many points you need for each reward. You're going to get your link. You can share it via email, et cetera, et cetera. And then one more thing, last thing that we want to mention is that the top 1% club is now open to everybody. And um, you can. Yeah, we made it free. We wanted to make mm -hmm. it free so that it's, you know, people think, you know, I, I know this email business is, it's been going on for some time, but I think that it's, um, you know, it's been so really abused, right? You get an email and then everybody just spams it and whatnot. We're trying not to do that. We're trying to give people what they want to see if they want to see it. So mm -hmm. with the top 1% club, we, we've made it. 
um, free. We're really going to collect the emails with the newsletter. We're going to give people what we what we're trying to do is put together a valuable newsletter, give it to everyone, and 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 look if if they want, there will be you, you can see from the list. You can either choose one of three things, and whatever you want. If you don't want the you know the the Marco sent something out, I guess, before the before the podcast. If you yeah. don't want that, you don't have to subscribe to that. You can unsubscribe, subscribe. So we want to give people what they want when they want it, and and we want to keep it clean. But um, we're hoping that as an as an audience, that people can share um, and get people on this on this. Uh, we're, we're spending a lot of time on putting this stuff together, um, not just the podcast, but the newsletter and and getting it out there and making something that's valuable. We're it's mm-hmm. not just giving you the news, right? We're here trying to connect the dots and help you connect the dots, finding videos, finding articles, putting it all together to help you make a better decision. Right. Um, and then share it and then, you know, help us, you know, help us share it with other people. And, you know, the better, the more people, my my vision is to really help, you know, I look at Seek and Alpha and and, and I see the comments and there's some smart people there. And and, and, I, and I'm sure there's, I've, I've spoken to, many people on on the podcast there's there's a lot of smart people and everyone's opinion matters it's there's nobody knows any nobody knows where the market's going right so you know just because you have something uh, an opinion that's different from someone it doesn't matter if you're different from me or or or, or anyone you know i'm i'm just calling it the way i see it from experience but i listen to whatever everyone has to say as long as you're respectful if you're not respectful i just right. you know you're out the window but you know i i'm i'm i keep it respectful and 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 i want people to learn and the more people that are put, putting in um i'm telling you look at the amd there was I forgot his name i give him a lot of kudos he wrote a whole thesis almost on why amd was going up i love that i love reading that yeah. and i want i want that that'll stay up there i should actually pin it we'll pin it later that should stay up there for the next three months. So when someone's looking at AMD and they want to refresh and they want to go, what did the bull say? What was he saying over there? He was saying this, 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 that that's helpful. It's helpful for you, for me, for anyone that's looking at this stuff. If we get smart, smart people putting in, you have an article in there that you want to put in there. Of course, put it in there. Take, take, uh, take the link, put it on the YouTube link. Well, I'll let it go. I have no problem with, you know, expanding CNBC article, whatever, you know, Benzinger article, it doesn't matter. You know, you want to promote a video, there's a video, someone has a good video on AMD, put it in there, you know, I'll watch it, I'll look at it. If it is good and it's not just some promotional video, we can leave it there. We want it to be an area where people could explore other avenues. So let's, let's, uh, you know, help us out here, share this, put this around and and we want to, you know, if, if we're sending this to 80 people, it's not going to work. You know, we're, we're sending it right now. We have a good list. We're sending right. it to a decent number of people. But, you know, the morning brew has a million, you know, so we're not at a million. Let's get to a million. If a million, I'd be happy. Yeah. Anyway. yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> all right let's good. go. So cool. so we have, um, all right, so that's it. We have, if there's any questions, people could just email Marco or myself. Um, and more Marco. Marco at optionsgeek.com. He'll help you. Um, you know what I saw today? Clorox. This Clorox, Clorox. is interesting. Yeah, so so Clorox <laughs> obviously had a big run on the on the, the this whole last year in the p- pandemic, but um, mm-hmm. the one you don't see this often in Clorox. That's why I just picked. It, you know, I, I I looked at it. The one ninety calls in July. Again, this is thirteen days. I, I I'm trying to. I don't know if this is a trading call. I don't know if somebody's short here and trying to protect. This is outside this sort of window of opportunity that we're looking at, and where, where usually the sharks are playing around. So the one ninety calls here being bought up this morning right out of the gate. Um, the stock jumped from 177 here. It's been trading up, but right out of the gate, they came in to buy. Uh, maybe somebody, maybe there was an upgrade or someone, I didn't see it if there was, but um, th- this is an interesting, the 190 calls here in Clorox. We um, looking at it right here. So we see the vol just literally trade from 24 and a half. You could see it on, on the thing here, straight up here. And then after that, it was, you know, they they probably paid too much. The market makers pushed it all the way up, and then it's come back down. But the it's interesting, you know, Clorox doesn't usually trade like like a tech name, and this is these are options that are coming out looking for, I guess, a big bounce. Let's take a look at the Clorox and see. Mm-hmm. They're looking for the one nineties at the one nineties. So here I'm looking at this and thinking, I mean. It's not like it's the best chart in the world. Right. Right. I mean, look at this thing. So this thing popped for obvious reasons with the the pandemic last year and um, straight up. 
And since then, it's basically gone straight down, barring this right here, this move, right? So you had this move straight down. And look at the 200-day the moving down, rolling over, the 50-day following down, down. Um, why would somebody be buying these right here? I don't know. I mean, it, it's interesting. It's an interesting buy, nonetheless. It's it, this is This is not something that's comforting this straight down for a year um but mm -hmm. because usually stocks don't just go from here and turn around and and do this right they usually usually don't do that unless they're doing something like here and and i don't know what happened here so this might be interesting and maybe this is earnings to give us a clue as to what somebody might be thinking here maybe it's earnings again maybe you know right. i i, I want to know i just saw this a few minutes ago i want to know what happened here and then I want to see what's going on here. Is there some, it, you know, earnings are probably in the next couple of weeks. So are they playing earnings again? And was this earnings? It looks like it could be. Looks like it could be somewhere, something to do with that. But I, I want to figure this out to, to understand the 190s. But there's there's something going on here. I think it's interesting um, paying 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 cents for these things, getting up to 15,000. I, I thought it was interesting. So this yeah. is one to watch, Clorox. Cool. Definitely. The other one today, another. This is another one that it's interesting. I just read a, a brief article on what's happening here, and um, Goldman Sachs. I saw that Goldman Sachs did upgrade this today, and NRG utility type name, power name, uh, big drop. Let's go over here. Big drop here, right? There's a big drop here, and you like to see. Whoop, See that move right there? Mm -hmm. It's pretty positive. It's a strong move here. Breaks the resistance, and next move is where? So they NRG, they came out, Goldman Sachs, with, where was it? I think it was a 57. They had a $46 price target. So 46 is here. This is why it was interesting to me. They, 46 would have been fine. Right, forty six is a good target stock price for a stock trading yeah. thirty eight bucks. Right, that's already a, a big move. Right, twenty something percent. They said, "Nah, we 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 know we're saying forty six. We're going to raise it to fifty seven. So we're thinking it goes all the way up here. Stock's thirty eight, and the options, you know, I can tell you in this name is fairly cheap. Right, you get thirty thirty six, thirty seven vol. Um, they're coming in to buy specifically the Julys. So they're buying the July forties, the forty ones. For these are all buys. Okay, on on the back of this. Uh, on the back of this upgrade stocks up six percent usually doesn't move this way but you know this stock dropped from 44 to 36 in 24 hours back in in early march right so you can get back to 44. i read an article saying that they're going to buy back and i got to look into this they're going to buy back 25 percent of the stock um the company is and so there you go i mean it sounds really interesting uh, at, at the very least right people are buying these I tend to, I tend, I would go a little bit further. I would go a little bit further out, you know, mm -hmm. instead of trying to play the the weekly to three week type of trade here, I would go a little bit further on this. But NRG, I think it's really interesting, really interesting. I got to read a little bit, but I want to know how the companies. When did they announce that they were going to buy twenty five percent back of the company? I I thought it was really interesting. So mm -hmm. something to look at as your homework, NRG, and cool. um, we'll go to the next one. What else? Well, we we talked about Apple. Was it last week? Should we take Apple, a look again? Yes. See what happened? All right. Let's yeah. go. Let's go quickly here. So we've run out of time. Apple last week. So we're talking about Apple, <laughs> Apple and Microsoft. It was Apple versus Microsoft. Microsoft's killing yeah. it again today. There's Microsoft does an upgrade by Jeffries at 310. Um uh, price target. Uh they like the big names. Facebook also had an outperform, but last week we talked about Microsoft and versus Apple. I think Apple starting to, the, the charts looking looking really good you know it's constructive it, it's it's trying to make that turn um and i think that we had what did somebody did somebody come out and say something today i thought i saw somebody come out and say something today either way the stock is the stock is traded well we went through it last week you can check out that podcast i wanted to give a trade idea um i i don't think looking at apple you know the way i think about apple is if it's going to get to $150, that's 15 points. 15 points on $134 stock is right now is going to be about 11%. The stock is $2.25 trillion. So 11% on $2.25 trillion is 200 and let's call it 40, 200 and 
uh, $40 billion, let's call it, somewhere around there. Uh -huh. Okay, so $240 billion in market cap that it has to make in order for it to get to 150 bucks. So that's a lot. I mean, it. look, it's not saying that it hasn't done that in the past. And, it, and it's, I mean, but 225, 2.25 trillion to 2.5 trillion. I mean, how high can these things go? In, in what amount of time, I would think that 15 points is a lot. Barring uh, they don't they don't come out and say, we're getting into healthcare in a big way with this product and it shows something, or we're coming against, we're going against Tesla, or we're, we got this new software for the cars. And barring that, and it's just earnings, um, 15 bucks would be a lot. So I would look at the, all earnings are in late July. So I would look at the August, uh, I was looking at this earlier, the August 1, uh, 140, 150. Right, 140, 150 for about a dollar ninety. Dollar ninety to make nine ten is a little bit more than five to one. Okay, so I'm looking at mm -hmm. you know five point one to one. So five hundred percent if it if it goes straight up or a dollar ninety, I can be long Apple. I, I'm okay with that. You know, I more than fifteen bucks. I, I think that it needs a much bigger announcement. It needs something to get it on its uh, horses here. The right. stock is again. We looked at it last week. It's it is breaking here. But this move from 116, 116 to 136, that's about 20 points. 20 points plus 122 and a half gets us 142 and a half, which is the high. Breaks the high, give it another 5%, gets it to 150. Mm, I can live with 150. Anything more than 150, I'd be pretty surprised in such a short period of time, right? In such a short period of time. If I just connect this to this, you know where it gets to? Mm -hmm. eh, that's 150, probably right around there. So 152, right? And you got this kind of going up the same way, this channel. So hmm, can we get there? That's what I was doing. I, I think pushing 150 be a tremendous move for Apple right here in in, in the next six oh, yeah. weeks. In the next six weeks. 15 points is a is a big move. That's saying it can't, but it's a big move. So let's uh I, I would do the 140, 150. You can mark it, whatever if you want, 190, one ninety, a dollar ninety. We could have got it last week for a dollar seventy five, whatever. But whatever. It, it's the the point is I'm using a call spread here because I'm I don't think this is lights out going to one sixty one seventy like when Facebook it was down for so long this channel and I we thought this thing can get to three fifty. This is a little bit different. I, I'm not seeing I'm seeing about one fifty. Okay, using okay. this channel one fifty five, but that again that's pushing it. Cool. All right. So that's the difference between Facebook and an Apple. Facebook, we like the calls. Apple will do a call spread. Okay. Fair enough. Good. Um, about, let's do a couple of more. Sure. <clears throat> we had um one that I wanted to look at was where was I? Baba. Baba calls. Yeah. I mean, this is another one that they've been coming for Baba, you know, right from the get go. It's interesting that the stock is down because they were coming for calls from right from the morning on. They were coming for July's. They were coming for August uh, earnings month. They were coming for September. They were come across the board. They were coming for calls, <clears throat> and the stock is trading lower. So, you know, I told you last week that I we like Baba. We like the big Chinese uh, tech names. Um, however, however, you know, we got a we got a two hundred day sort of turning a little bit. We had the fifty day down. You know, I, I don't see it. I don't see a lights out move straight up. I mean, people are talking, you see in articles uh, about the high 200s, 300s, and price starts. People love this long term. They love Baba. But at the end of the day, <clears throat> you got a lot of people that have been long here, 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 here. They've been buying it all the way down. These people, not everybody's a long, you know, 20 year holder. Okay. So when you come up this way, what's going to happen when you get to 240 uh -huh. to 270 right over here? A lot of these people here, there's going to be some selling pressure to get out. Okay. So this could take, this could take, this took from here, November to right now is call it somewhere around here right now, June, May, June. This is about six months, right? So it's about six months. It could take another six months to kind of get back to 300, 315. So you're talking by the end of the year where you would have, a little bit like a, it'll start looking like a toilet bowl, right? It'll look like this, right? It's gonna look like that yeah, and it'll get right. to here at the end of the year, but it, it's, it, it'll take time. It's this, this is it's a lot of buyers here. There's a lot of people that were getting along. It's been a cheap stock for a while. Um, how do you value something when the Chinese government is basically holding it back here a little bit, right? Where, where's, where does, 
how far does that go? Right. And uh, it'll take some time. I think it'll, I think it'll take some time. And if it shoots up, I think, you know, it, it'll it'll settle down somewhere in the if it goes up somewhere between 245, 275 is my guess as to sort of it, it shouldn't go up much higher than that. It, it's going to need time to come to, to 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 get into the fall and then make its way toward the 300 uh-huh. if it's going to get there. OK, yeah, fair enough. So yep. Baba, it's just something interesting that I've been seeing in, in Baba. They've been they've been buying calls for a while, but it's been. Um, heavy in the last two, three weeks. Yes. Good. What else? How about we end with uh, two, two that sure. two that two that I love and I don't understand how they trade. Although one I do understand the two that the the, the two that uh, the okay. three, but electronic arts and ATVI. Well, I don't I don't understand oh, yeah. how they're trading this thing. This thing is you know they they look ATVI. Okay, I mean. Is this what they do to get everybody? It's like everybody's on the everybody's <laughs> waiting for the big pop, and you know this is what I call offsides. See that offsides? Eh. You know everybody's waiting for this move, which I think is going to happen. It's going to take I don't know oh. if it's take, I don't know how it's going to happen, but I think it's a double this stock over the course of the next twelve months. But you know everybody's waiting for this pop. It moves down like this, and then all of a sudden out of nowhere, people saying, "Why is it going down?" I say, "I have no idea." Today I got a couple of emails. Saying you see this ATVI, it's really starting to move. Why is it going up? I I have no idea. Why did it go down? You know, it's just this is what happens here. It's also end of the month, end of the quarter. So people who, you know, have gotten tired of it a little bit and thought, you know, once these guys make a decision, by the way, once the big guys make a decision, they make the decision around here, right? This is um March, right here, right? These guys, they make a decision, they say, okay, we want to lower some of these pandemic plays and in, in size. So we're long 30 million shares. We want to get it down to 20 million shares. So yeah. they're going to sell 10 million shares. So, you know, they'll spend the next three months, one, two, three, selling 10 million shares. Why? Because they were looking at the numbers and, and, and yes, they got a, these, all of these games got a boost because of last year, people staying at home, but now people are starting to say, you know what, maybe, it's okay. Like maybe the, the numbers might be down a little bit. We understand that, but they got a lot of things going ahead of it. And also Apple changed the game with first party data. So we got to really start evaluating how much that's worth. But I, I think this right here is basically people not knowing whether or not these games will be, you know, rock star stocks over the course of the next 12 months. And already they're, they've already, they're already long a lot. So yeah. you have this people long a ton here. Okay, they're long a ton, and then through all these all these days here, they're long a ton, and then here, okay, we're starting to open up, and we get these four months of okay, let's just pare down the position. Doesn't mean they don't like it, just paring it down. And as we get closer to June thirtieth, remember they got to get out of whatever they wanted to get out of. That's their number. They got to get out of it, and then they'll reevaluate for the next quarter because they're also taking money and they're putting it somewhere else, right? So they're taking some out of, out of the games and they're finding other places to put it. So EA, same thing, same uh-huh. story. It's you know both of these both of these names I like. I think that they they should be a lot higher. And yet you know the the, the number of hours being on the games may not work. But if you look at this stock, this is going back now since last August, where it's traded between one forty eight and here it had this drop here to one one ten. Is that right? One ten. So one forty eight, one fifty, one ten. You know, where could it go? 190? Why couldn't it go 190? 110 on, on, a, on a ramp up. So I think these have, they got to get through this and it's going to need a little bit of a catalyst. Mm-hmm. Um, it's going to need the MACD to kind of flatten out, kind of do this thing. But I, I think there's, it's my opinion that these things are perfect for options because I think there's a lot of room to the upside on these things if they, um, in these stocks, if they have proven that, they can survive outside of what happened last year and thrive in, in the environment because the trend is that big. And because in ATVI's case, they are changing their model. I don't think EA, EA is, they, they're months behind right now on, right. Um, on turning their whole model the same way. You're going to be able to play NFL Madden for free and EA Sports, all that for free. You're just mm-hmm. not, you maybe you, you could play them for, you know, um, uh, you could play it for, I don't know the jerseys that they'll make something up where you could play for free only for like three innings if you want to play the whole night who knows they'll they'll do something where you won't get the starters you'll get the backups whatever 
um, but you'll be able to play the game. They, that's all they want. So these freemium models, they want you to play the game. Um, so that's that's EA and an ATVI. And then the other one is this one. I know the reason mm -hmm. why it's down. I hate the fact that it's getting killed. Um, you know, I thought that I thought that China would, oh, oh, frankly, I thought that China would open up. And the flow was coming in like China was going to open up, but they're not. Okay. And right. um, over in a Bernstein meeting, um, the, the CEO said, LVS, LVS, which is Las Vegas Sands, is not a Las Vegas company anymore. It's basically Macau. Okay. Macau and Singapore. And essentially, without Macau opening up, these guys are just going to be sitting there for a while. So, you know, you're going to need a lot of patience. The stock has come straight down. If the story is if China opens up these things, people are going to be ready. And there's big players here. Right, they're willing to step up here and use options in big size. I can tell you on Friday, on Friday they actually this was last Friday they they rolled down the sixty seven and the seventy calls in <clears throat> in September. They rolled down the sixty seven, so they were along the sixty seven and a half and the seventies. They sold those, okay, ten thousand of sixty sevens, fifteen thousand of seventies, and they bought thirty thousand of the fifty fives. This right here. Okay, they're doing they're selling more of these 65s today and they're buying the 55s. So they they just this is gonna say 45,000 tomorrow, 44,000. Okay. So they get they're really getting along the 45, the 55 calls. Again, it's a stock that is it's dead money. So people are getting out. It's just if if China's not opening, it's dead money. That's how these people are gonna make their money. And someone's willing to say, okay. We don't want to completely get out of stock, so I suspect that they're selling their stock and and buying their position is here on the fifty five calls. But they want the leverage because if China does make an announcement, the stock probably trades in a week and a half. It trades sixty plus sixty. Go, let's call it six. I would say sixty five. That's what you know. You got to look what they're buying. They're buying. They were buying the sixty fives and the sixty sevens, thinking it's going to eighty, right? 65, yep. I think it's going to 80 and they've been in this for a while and they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger and they're buying the 55. So th th there's your story. Um, maybe now it's just, let's wait till China says they're going to open up. You missed the first five points and then you just immediately jump in, right? right? Because the stock is getting, the stock would, so much money would go into Las Vegas sands the minute China opens up for real. But the, the government, you know, they said, you know, not for maybe now it seems like next year. It's crazy. I, I don't, I don't yeah. know. You know, they, they know obviously something we don't know. So, uh, you know, it's 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 really interesting. But um, that's what's going on in Macau. Th this is a Macau name. Same thing with Melco. Same same exact thing. Mm -hmm. you know, these, these, this name is, this name, this is flying. This is, China's going to open up. And no, just kidding. China's not going to open up. When, when China opens up, these things will make their first move. And that's when, you, I, I think maybe that's the safest way to play it. When it makes it, it's not going to take, obviously, when they make an announcement, it's going to make an initial move. You probably want to buy that initial move. Nice. If it's that clear cut. I mean, if mm -hmm. usually it doesn't happen right. so clear cut that says, well, we'll open up. But <laughs> that's what everybody's looking at. Everybody's looking at those that those signals that, yeah, you know what? We're we're opening up. China's open up. Macau's going to open up. Everything's going to go. These stocks will fly. Look at this compared to when. I mean, LVS is left in the dust, right? All the Vegas yeah. stocks are doing well. And and LVS sold their Vegas stuff to focus on Macau, and now they're just sitting there waiting, you know, and and sucking wind for a while. So, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens there. Cool. And that, Sounds my good. friend, that my friend is a day. Wraps it up. Thanks everybody. Up. Like the video, right, subscribe if you haven't. Thank you, Felix. All we'll right, see you tomorrow. You Bye. All right. Bye.